makeup today but because I got splattered and burned with butter on my mouth. We're keeping it classy here in Queens. Um, but listen, we have such a fun recipe and such fun guests for you today. We are going to make a spinach artichoke flatbread. But here's the fun part. It's gonna be vegan! What? And here to help me uh, do this recipe, make this recipe, explain this recipe are two of my very favorite vegans, Mr. Dustin Harder and Mr. David Rossetti. What? Hello. Hello. Yes. I love the bold lip. Yes. Thank you. Me and Dustin and David go way back to the Broadway production of Annie. Yes! Where Dustin had one of, I think, the coolest jobs on Broadway. He was the dog handler, so he got to, like, hang out with the dogs all day. And David had one of the hardest jobs on Broadway uh, because he was our swing. Dustin has this incredible series um, called The Vegan Roadie. And in fact, the recipe that we're making today is his. It is from his cookbook called Simply Vegan, available wherever you get your books, I'm sure, right? Absolutely available everywhere books are sold. I think it's even on sale right now on Amazon. So uh, let's get to it. Is like vegan ricotta. Am I right? Yeah, well, it's like a creamy, it's almost like it's like a cashew cream sauce, cheesy cashew cream sauce. It's not gonna be as thick as a ricotta, but the cool thing about cashews, like you were saying, they do something, they're gonna thicken up a little when we bake them. So you'll have a nice creamy sauce on it. And I think we're just gonna mandate that it's not cashew anymore, it's cashew. <laughs> Here's the thing. You gotta squeeze the shit out of yes. this spinach. No water. Um, because the we don't want any of that excess water in our cashew mixture. And then we're just gonna give it a, like a nice stir here. because Dustin loves mushrooms, but you could add whatever you wanted. I had a dream, and I will I will fulfill this dream at some point, of uh, sun-dried tomatoes, because I think that would be really good on it. I think that would be amazing. Sun-dried tomatoes, um, and I think that you're doing the best thing right now. You're <laughs> making the recipe as is, you said, and then you're going to break the rules later, and I suggest that to everyone. Like, always play with your food, get in the kitchen, try stuff. Okay. We're going to put our flatbreads in the preheated 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. Um, let's just shoot the shit. It's my favorite yeah. part. Boom. Boom. Um, so let's talk about vegan. Yeah, I went vegan in like 2010, I think, and it all started for health. I wanted to like maintain my weight. So I started like subbing things out, like eating different, like, you know, veggie patties and stuff like that. 
And then I started losing weight, but then also having better sleep, my skin cleared up, just all these different things happened. And then as a couple of years passed, uh, I started loving it for all the other reasons, you know, animal welfare and the environment, everything that goes with it. Uh, I remember when we were doing Annie, you were about to go to culinary school when we closed. You I remember talking with you about it actually in your dressing room. I knew I was going out on the road with Annie like eight months later. Mm -hmm. And so in the middle of culinary school, I was like, what am I doing? I'm doing Annie again. Like that was probably like the 20th time for me. And so then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the first uh, vegan diners, drive-ins and dives. So that became the vegan roadie. So we did three seasons of that, two in North America, and then one in Italy. We filmed the third season in Italy. Um, and then two books have come from it. It's been crazy. And where can we find all of this stuff? So it's veganroadie.com. Veganroadie.com. You heard it right here. That's where you're gonna go and find all of this. Oh, okay, the timer's going off. The timer's going off. Oh my gosh, it's Broadway Nash. Um, and here's the confession. My grocery store did not have vegan Parmesan. So I have good old regular Parmesan cheese, like the, the powdery kind. Yeah, use what you got. I'm not mad at you. You gotta live your life. Food should never be stressful. That's what I think. Should be joyful. You should you should have a good time making it. Here we go. The moment of truth. I'm so excited. <laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's so good. It's so good. I'm so I'm, glad you like it. I I can't wait to try all of your recipes. Yes, well, you can try them from Simply Vegan, the first book, or you can get wild and crazy and do some over-the-top crazy shenanigans with my second one, Epic Vegan, as well. You guys are the best. You're I'm the sending best. you so much love, and I can't wait to finish this pizza, so I'm just going to hang up on you now. Goodbye. We're going to go make some. Bye. 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 I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye. Oh, so amazing. I'm so... You guys, this flatbread is freaking incredible. It, I would never know it's vegan. It tastes delicious. Um, thank you all for joining me today. I, as always, I say thank you to our frontline workers, our healthcare workers, our doctors, our nurses, our janitors, our superintendents of our buildings. And now I am going to um, get back to my... Uh, spinach artichoke flatbread five six seven eight Add a dash of jazz hands